something somebody told me. A poem by Haystack MacMillian. Something a doctor told me. I don't got long to be here, see. Something a different type doctor told me. I need help with my temper. See, something a lady at the bank told me. Money's not an issue. <laughs> See, something somebody should have told you about me. I'm the wrong white boy to respond to. E. <laughs> Trying to get your center back, but it's like, hello. Intricate movements that I fit into my music, so your hands have been proven. Every time that I do it, I'm moving forward with the way. That's a name, and it kind of goes without saying. But I'm praying every day, this man, I know I'm not playing. I said, I'm praying every day, this man, I know I'm not playing. You're Goliath, I'm David, it kind of goes. Haystack MacMillian has released yet another missile on Detroit's highly decorated multi-platinum MC Eminem in what seems to be an unmotivated attack. His thoughts on this situation. Here is a previously recorded clip from that interview. It's like earlier in the conversation you said it was like easy to get in touch with me or whatever. I can tell that you used to deal with a lot of artists who are confined by their deal and their situation, but like nobody runs me, you know. It seems like first they pop up in local publications and then this AOL news, but don't underestimate me. That's never why. Just try to question my legitimacy. You wouldn't know nope, nothing about, about that, that little pussy. Shows you how old school this shit is. Big Smeezy. Hit him with that hook one more. Make a loaf of bread out of concrete block. I mean, look what he's done with that dude over there. That blonde headed white boy back in the day, he would have been a village idiot, you know what I mean? Stag no case, he has gone through black dose. Still I'm at the real life, life was up though. Me and dollars and it never be me. I am that white boy, white boy. Another hundred million dollars and you never be me.
bitch, catch me at the red light. Stack is probably too real. But eventually everybody gotta face reality. When that time comes, when we look at Stack then, the fucking. I ain't got shit to do with it. I know, you know, it's, I know hundreds of black men, you know what I'm saying? Black, whatever you wanna call them. Fake the motherfucker. Fake the motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? For me, real is real, man. You know, woman, dog, horse. Keep it real with me, I'ma keep it real with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, give yeah, well, a that was a real motherfucker, man. He kept it real. He had no illusions about who he was. You know what I'm saying? As far as the rap shit was concerned. God, that white, the white boy shit, huh? But not only for this, man, when I got here, I was green. I was lying to the fucking guy. I was just a rapper. Guess what? I wanted to be people born and be. You know what I'm saying? Those were my aspirations. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to compete with the greats. You know what I'm saying? I want to, you know what I mean? But then I find, I get, I get here and they're like, oh, well, you can't be people going to be because you know, you're white. You can only, you can only, you, you, you have a genre of competition and you can only compete with these certain uh, artists and we will never, will never, you know what I'm saying, compare you to anybody. You know what I'm saying? I never compared to them or breed when I got a vocal texture like them or, or to you or, you know what I'm saying, to certain other rappers with a, a draw. You know, in their speech, you know what I'm saying? But I'm constantly compared to these white boys, so I didn't even realize I was a white rapper when I showed up. I wasn't trying to eat off that shit, right. but they kept saying it, kept saying it, and then I realized, well, okay, that's what it is. I'm not when exactly did I get my check? Uh, man, we're gonna work that out. Invoice me. Invoice? Hold on, motherfucker. You got a nice ring on I'm invoice for free. Check. Let me holler at you, little white boy. Now I'm back, bitch. Let me holler 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 back, Big around that shack, couldn't hold him. You could have my hands and still couldn't touch me. Just 
took off and just touched down. People touch me so they know they're not supporting the pussy. Jelly Roll backed that up as a fact in an interview recently. Because it wouldn't be a Jelly Roll without a stack. Jelly Roll said he had to sleep on Stack's couch with the chopper. Getting ready to shoot anyone to try to retaliate for some that soap. What's up, W? What's up, Dubs? Old Haystack fan since 98. I was just thinking of some of the old clips I was able to find on YouTube. I want to see if I could find them. Give everyone a little highlight of when Haystack went beast on Eminem. I mean, did a whole album against them. Minimum. And then other, one, other songs besides the whole album. But, uh, yeah, man. There's some stuff I couldn't find. But I just thought any uh, CWBs would appreciate that. Love my CWGs. A-game dub. And remember, there wouldn't be a jelly without stack. I got some uh, videos of me and stack. Hung out with him backstage, and I got him to uh, make a video saying I'm his biggest fan and fuck Lee. 